$1,000. Helpful for life. Oh, and one last thing before we get to the cutting, there are things that will cause your blade to lose its edge faster. Here are a few of them, avoid them if you can. Anytime your knife has to cut through something hard or dense, like bones for example, it may cause your knife to dull faster. Also, the harder you force your knife into the cutting board, the faster it can dull. For instance, if you're doing a lot of hard chopping like this, that can dull it faster. The tip for this is to use only one or two of your knives for these types of things, that way you won't dull all of your knives faster. Speaking of hard, cutting on hard surfaces like bamboo, glass, or stone are all going to eat through your blade that much faster. Even plastic wears down the blade faster than a wood board does. When it comes to putting your knife away, be mindful of where and how you store it. If you put your knife in a drawer, banging on all sorts of other stuff, it may get dull faster or it may even chip. Instead, use a knife block, a knife magnet, or put a sheath on your knife to protect it. This next one is a big one for me. Please don't do this. It hurts my soul. This is a very common mistake by amateurs and pros alike. As you may guess, it can dull the knife. Think of the picture we showed when talking about honing. Plus, there's no reason to risk it. There are plenty of other ways to move ingredients on the cutting board. You can simply use your hand. You could use the other side of the knife, also known as the spine. Or you can use a bench scraper like this one. These guys are great for picking things up off the cutting board, among other things. I haven't seen extensive studies on it, but a common rule of thumb is to not put knives in the dishwasher. People say that knives get dulled from clinging around in the dishwasher, the high pressure water, and the abrasive detergents. Some people also say that the water and the detergents can lead to rust and or discoloration. Our rule of thumb is to throw the everyday knives in there, like these steak knives, but hand wash the more expensive knives, like this chef's knives. Also, it's best for the blade if you dry it immediately after washing. So keep all of these things in mind and you'll have no problem protecting your edge. <laughs>